Hello everyone, welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another given exponential equation, parenthesis, 64 divided by 25 to the power x over 2 minus x squared equals parenthesis 25 divided by 40 to the power 4x squared minus 3. And we're solving for the value of x. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And now let's start solving the exponential equation. And in here, if you noticed, both base of the sides of the equation is in the form of a fraction. So we have to find a way to reduce those uh, base, fractional base, into its lowest term. Now let's start uh, doing that by writing the equation again. 64 over 25, parentheses, power x over 2, minus x squared, cos... 25 over 40 parentheses to the power 4x squared minus 3 and from here if you notice since uh, our base are all or both in the form of fraction so next step will be to reduce these fractions into lowest term all right so in here in the left side of the equation 64 over 25 could be written the same way as uh, 64 is perfect square and 25 is per perfect square same way so it's square root of 64 that's 8 since 8 times 8 is 64 and 25 perfect square that's 5 and that's squared and then raised to power x over 2 minus x squared in the right side of the equation the uh, base uh, will be Simplified the same way, reduced to the, its lowest term. It's 25 and 40 common factor is 5. So this can be reduced as uh, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. Parenthesis raised to the power 4x squared minus 3. And if you notice on the left side of the equation, the exponent can be reduced. And uh, we're using one of those laws of exponent. That is uh, a to the m raised to n equals a raised to m times n. So we're multiplying the exponent. Left side of the equation can be written the same way now as uh, 8 divided by 5 to the power 2 times x over 2 minus x squared equals the right side of the equation 5 over 8. This a uh, four times x squared minus three, and from here, you're multiplying those uh, the exponent now, so that becomes uh, eight over five. Parentheses to the power two times uh, x over two that becomes x since canceling two, so there's no x, and two times negative x squared that is now and minus two x squared. And the right side of the equation remains the same. It's 5 over 8 to the power 4x squared minus 3. And from here, if you notice, the base, left and the right, are somewhat similar. And actually, the uh, the other side is the total inverse of the, uh, the other side of the base. So what are we going to do next is we'll be inverting, putting uh, the reciprocal of this, the reciprocal of, of this one either way. So... It will go the same way so it'll be 8 over 5 and from here it will be transposed those uh, numerator and denominator will become uh, will be manipulating the uh, exponent all right and in here we'll be using another exponent rule that is a divided by b parentheses to the exponent m and we're transposing the uh, switch places of those uh, a and b, and now b divided by a now, and the exponent will be negative m. All right, so we'll be using this to transform the right side of the equation, the base of that. So the right side of the equation is now, that's 8 over 5 to the power negative 1 times 4x squared minus 3. So I put negative 1, or without the 1 right there, it would mean the same way. Just put a negative on the on the front of the parentheses, so that means we're inverting the uh, location of the numerator and denominator, the reciprocal of that. So 
So the left side remains the same. It's 8 over 5 to the power x minus 2x squared. And from here, we'll be simplifying the exponent. All right. Right side of the equation now becomes 8 over 5. That's the base. An exponent minus uh, multiplying to the plus sign of that 4x squared will be minus 4x squared. And then minus times minus becomes plus. And that's 3 now. All right. And the exponent of the right side of the equation could be written the same way as now 8 over 5. To, that's the base. And uh, since it is negative, we're transposing it to the other side. Or either way, it stays that way. So, or we switch the uh, location of this both. So that is now 3 minus 4x squared. And the left side remained the same. 8 over over 5 to the power x minus 2x squared and from here if you know this the base are the same so based on the formula a to the b equals a to the c therefore b equals to c so in here we're equating the exponent left side equals to the right side of the equation so you see that now so the equation now becomes x minus 2x squared equals 3 minus 4x squared. So from here, simplifying the equation, we're moving all the terms on the right, going to the left. So equation now becomes positive 4x squared. And uh, arranging the terms at the same time. Minus 2x squared plus x and 3 will become negative 3 equals 0. And from here combining like terms 4 minus 2 is 2 that is 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. So the equation now is transformed into a quadratic form so we can solve the value of x by using factoring or quadratic formula. So in here we will be using factoring so let's factor that equation. So the top is 2 times 3 is 6. That's negative. The bottom is 1x or 1. 1x. One, one All right. And the factors go on side left and right. We have the factors of 6. is uh, 3 and 2. That's 3 and 2. And the uh, sign of the uh, middle term is positive. That means the bigger value carries the positive. And the lesser value will be negative since the third term is negative, multiplying 3 times 2 plus positive 3 times negative 2 will end up to negative 6. If adding it up, this becomes 3x minus 2x that will become 1x or x. So that's the middle term. All right, so let's uh, proceed, go back to the equation. So the factors now. Put a, set up parentheses right here equating to zero and if you notice before we proceed by the way since the leading coefficient got two two right there so we have to divide this by two and the same thing on the other side divide by two so this is now turned to negative one over one and see so this is the same way three halves so this means here now is two the two here will become a factor of two x squared that is 2x and positive 3 and the right side we have here now 1 corresponds to x and negative 1 corresponds to the constant term on the right side of the binomial factor and from here we are now equating both binom binomial factor to 0 so the left side is now 2x plus 3 equals 0 the right side is x minus 1 equals 0. Simplifying this equation, so 2x equals my negative 3, and simplifying this, we divide by 2, so x is now is negative 3 halves. That's one of the values, and right side, x is equal to transposing negative 1 become positive 1. So we have two values of x, negative 3 halves, the other one 
X is one. And so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.